In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to record the song Brother John by playing directly on the built-in keyboard in Soundtrap. So first, go to Schoology and launch Soundtrap from the left sidebar by tapping on it. Tap on Launch App. Enter Studio. Get rid of this window. Make sure Metronome is turned on on the bottom. Now it is on. This is off. This is on. Add new track. Choose Keys. So Let's play a note. Uh, on this track, we are going to record only the right hand part of the song, Brother John. So let's tap on the record button. Stop. Uh, we're going to quantize it, make sure that uh, the notes uh, that I played are in sync with the beat. So click on quantize, then choose one fourth, which is the smallest note we have in the song, a uh, quarter note. Move the playhead back all the way to the beginning, add new track choose keys again and this time we're going to be playing the chord uh, the C major chord which consists of these three notes C3, E3 and G3. Every time we play the chord we're going to be holding these three notes with three fingers. Okay you can use two fingers in one hand and one finger on uh, from the other hand or three fingers from one hand whatever way you find easy for you all right we're ready to record so tap on the red button Stop. Quantize again to one fourth and get rid of the keyboard window. Uh, tap on each track to uh, trim it back to the end of the song. and enable the cycle bar or the loop bar on the top and bring the playhead all the way back to the beginning add new track choose drums and machines uh, this time we will create a pattern and fortunately Soundtrap creates automatic pattern to your song uh, to do that, you're going to click on the drum, uh, snare drum picture in the middle on the left side. And you would see that it is generating a pattern right now. Wait for it. Okay, so this is the pattern. If you don't like it, you can delete it by tapping uh, and holding on the track and click delete. Otherwise, you can just leave it and you can copy it several times to fill in the rest of the song. So let's move the playhead to the end of this segment. Tap and hold on this uh, percussion segment and then copy. And tap again on this, in the same place. Paste.
paste. So we're going to do that several times. Whoops. And uh, you can't trim this percussion track, I found. It doesn't work like the other MIDI tracks that we recorded. But you can hold it and push back. And it's not going to make a big difference. It will just cut off part of the prior uh, pattern track before it. Uh, let us listen to it. that's it uh, you can be creative with a percussion pattern maybe you can try to create new patterns in the middle uh, vary the patterns I'm gonna leave this up to you uh, but for now let us save it and you're gonna click uh, or tap on the collaboration button on the right uh, invite me by entering my name and after you do so, go to the URL, copy it, and then upload it to the assignment submission. And that's all. Have fun.